Hello guys, it's Stealth49er here with a tutorial on how to install the GLSL shaders mod for Minecraft 1.7.5. The first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft launcher. And once it loads up using any profile, click edit profile. Then under use version, select release 1.7.5 and then click save profile. Now once that downloads, you want to make sure that there is a version of 1.7.5 for shaders to use. And once you get to the menu, you want to click quick game. Now go ahead and go into your web browser and go to the GLSL shaders mod page, which is linked in the description. And you want to find the for Minecraft 1.7.5 section and click more info. Now once it brings you to this specific entry, you want to find the 1.7.5 version. You can see it says MC 1.7.5 and click the link. This will take you to an ad fly page and you want to wait until the skip ad button shows up in the top right and click skip ad. Now go ahead and click this download button here and save it on your desktop. Now on your desktop, you have the shaders mod file. You want to right click it, click open with, and select Java platform SE binary and click OK. When it prompts you to install, click yes, and then click OK as long as it says that it has successfully installed. Now you want to go into your Minecraft launcher and you will have to re-authenticate by selecting your user and clicking play. And then you can see that we have the 1.7.5 shaders mod profile selected and click play. Now to check that shaders is installed, go to the options. And if you see a shaders option, that means it is installed. Now with the default shaders, you won't notice much of a difference. If I go ahead and go into a world, you'll see that there's not really too much of a difference to the look. That's because we need to download a shader pack, which is what I'm going to go into now. So you want to save and quit and quit the game there and then close. And I'm going to download the Sonic Ethers shader pack, but there are a bunch of other ones. I will try to leave links to a few that I know of and that you can use that look good uh, if you'd like to download different shader packs. Now you want to go into your web browser and go to the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod forum thread. Now you can substitute this with another shader pack, but for this tutorial, this will be my example. You want to scroll down and find the shaders downloads. You want to keep scrolling and you can see that it says the latest and then you have the different types. We're going to download the standard version of the SUSE and then we want to click that. And then once you get to the ad fly page, wait for the skip ad button to appear in the top right and click skip ad and then agree to the EULA and click download. Now save that on your desktop. And on your desktop, you can see we have this zip file and this has the shaders in it. So what you want to do is you want to actually go ahead and move this file into the .minecraft folder. So go ahead and press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard and type percent %appdata% percent and click OK. Now go into your .minecraft folder, then find your shader packs folder and you want to drag the zip file into there. Now that we have the shader installed, you want to go and open up your Minecraft launcher. Once that loads up, you want to make sure the shaders mod profile is selected and click play. Once Minecraft loads up, go to options, shaders, and double click the shader that you have installed and click done. Then click done again. And let's go ahead and open up a world just to test it out. And as you can see, the shaders are working and you can see all the lighting and the shadows. That's how you can tell that they are working. It does look a bit different. If you did happen to have an issue with this, let me know in the comments below. One thing to keep in mind is that shaders is very intensive on your computer. So if it did happen to crash, that may be because 
your computer just cannot handle it. Just think about uh, the power of your computer. If it really doesn't run regular Minecraft well, it would not be able to run shaders uh, because it's much more intensive. There's great frame drops. As you can see, I'm only running at about 40 FPS and I usually run at about 400. Uh, so it does really deplete your performance and uh, just give them my but other questions if you have any other issues let me know and I will try to help you out as best I can anyway if you're not already make sure you follow me on Twitter like the Facebook fan page and follow me on Google Plus and if you are new to the channel and you do enjoy gaming tutorials and reviews make sure you subscribe thanks for watching